Hello. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install the Strawberry Jam mod and other mods that run on Everest Mod Loader on the Steam Deck. If you already have everything installed and are just looking for the crash fix, skip to the timestamp 535. Let's get started. First, you'll want to be in desktop mode like I'm in. This first step isn't necessarily required, but it's a good thing to do anyways to make sure you don't run into dependency problems. Open up the Discover Software Center. If you don't have it on the bottom, you can find it by going into the application launcher and searching for it. Remember, to invoke the on-screen keyboard on the Steam Deck, hold down the Steam button and press X, and the keyboard will come up. Go to your updates at the bottom, and then make sure that you're up to date. To begin, you'll need to open up these two websites on your Steam Deck. I have them linked in the video description. The first one is to install the Everest launcher. The second one will be to install the mod. On the Everest page, click on Install Everest and scroll down until you see Linux. Click here to download the latest auto build. Minimize the browser for now, we'll need that later. Open up the file browser and go to your downloads folder. Extract the Linux main zip. As a reminder, you can use the left trigger to right click. Inside this will be another zip, so don't get confused when you see this. Just extract the secondary zip. The resulting folder contains a program called Olympus, which is an installer and manager for the Everest mod loader. You will need to leave this folder somewhere on your Steam Deck in case you need to modify your installation of Everest. If you would like to install everything to the internal SSD of your Steam Deck, make a folder somewhere in the home folder or documents or anywhere. Normally, I like to place files like this in a folder I made called Games, App Image and I would place it here. It doesn't matter where you place it as long as the folder does not get moved or renamed. Otherwise, Olympus might stop working in the future. For this tutorial, I have installed Celeste to my microSD card, and I will also be installing Everest and Strawberry Jam to the microSD card as well. So, I will navigate to the microSD card, and I have already made a folder here called non-steam stuff, which is where I will put Olympus. Again, you can put this almost anywhere you like. I also like to rename it to Olympus. Once you have found a permanent place for Olympus, enter the folder, right click in the background and click open terminal here. Invoke the on-screen keyboard by holding down the Steam button and pressing X. Type the following dot slash install dot sh. You can press tab to autocomplete like I did. Press enter and then press Y and press enter again and dismiss the on-screen keyboard. Olympus should now show up in your application launcher. This is what Olympus, the tool that installs Everest, looks like. Click on Install Everest, and then click Manage underneath Installations. If you installed Celeste to your SSD, you should see it automatically be detected here. However, in my case, it was not automatically detected, and I have to manually point it to the game. The file picker you will be prompted with doesn't have easy access to the microSD card. So, follow me to this location, Other Locations, Computer, Run, Media, MMC, BLK, 0P1, and then find the Celeste EXE. I will find mine in Steam Apps, Common, Celeste, Celeste.exe. Now that Celeste has been found, we can hit the back arrow, click Stable, and click Install. The Everest mod loader should now be installed into your original Celeste executable. Anytime you launch Celeste, Everest will launch as well. You can easily uninstall Everest by uninstalling Celeste and reinstalling the game. Now that Everest is installed, it's time to install Strawberry Jam. Close out of Olympus and return to your web browser. Open up the Strawberry Jam Game Banana page and scroll down until you get to the section named Files. Find Strawberry Jam Pack, click Olympus Everest Installer, and click on Open Link. This may look different depending on your web browser. Olympus will open and it will automatically install the core game files into the mods folder. The majority of the mod will be installed later in game. Now that we have Everest and Strawberry Jam installed, it's time to launch Celeste. Launch Celeste by your preferred way. You can do this in gaming mode if you'd like. Celeste may take slightly longer than usual to boot up. You will see Everest in the bottom left corner if Everest mod loader installed successfully, and additionally you may see a welcome prompt. 
once you've made it to the main menu, go down to mod options. You will see that it says one mod failed to load. Click install missing dependencies. This will take a very long time. For me, it usually takes about 20 minutes. Once the installation has finished, press B on your controller. Congratulations, Strawberry Jam is now installed on your Steam Deck. If you would like to test it, you can click on Climb, create a new game, and change Celeste to Strawberry Jam Collab. However, if you quit out of Celeste and reopen the game later, it will crash on load. This happens because of a feature or bug or I don't really know what it is in Everest called fast texture loading. This feature does not work properly on the Steam Deck, so we will have to disable it. To fix this, we will need to modify the Everest preference file. This can be found in your Celeste saves folder. By default, this folder is located in home.local share Celeste saves. If you haven't already, show hidden files by clicking on the hamburger menu and checking show hidden files. Now navigate to dot local share Celeste saves. Scroll down so that you can find the file mod settings dash Everest dot Celeste. Open it up with the text editor. Scroll down to line 10. It's called Fast Texture Loading. By default, it will be completely blank. Move your text cursor here and invoke the on-screen keyboard by holding down Steam and pressing X. Type the following, space, false. Exit and save the file. Now that the crash has been fixed, Everest Mod Loader should load up successfully and you can create a new save file to play Strawberry Jam. If you are still having trouble, leave a comment or visit the Strawberry Jam and official Celeste Discord channels, which are in the video description. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. I don't normally do this kind of content, so let me know if anything I did worked particularly well or not so much. Until next time, Jack out.